And oh, looky, 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 looky. I found some more. Oh my gosh. Look at that. There's one, two, three, four. There's five. so late but it's only 4 30. I just can't get used to this. How do you feel about that? Tell me down in the comments. But anyway I am at my favorite Goodwill and I am going to see if by some chance those teapots that I left behind last time that I got told are really good might still be here. I seriously doubt it because a lot of people who watch my videos that are local and if they read the comments well then they'd also know that they wanted to go grab those teapots it's okay you know what I am good with leaving things for other people I don't ha have any regrets when I find out something was really good and I should have grabbed like I'm good with that I'm good as long as you know somebody gets it and gets to make good with it I'm okay there's there is enough stuff out there for all of us for all of us so I'm not greedy I don't need it all so I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna see what I can find because if you watched my live show yesterday uh, well, uh, Monday depending on when you're watching this uh, I started listing again so I listed live on my show I got my first two items back up and running and I'm um, feeling pretty good about doing my two a day. I'm putting it out there. I'm putting it out there to the universe <laughs> so I can get my two a day. And uh, that's going to push me. All right. So who's with me? I asked this yesterday in my live chat. I'll ask you in the comments here. Who of my reseller watchers is with me to commit to two listings a day? Just two. That's all you got to do. All right. Let me know. And with that, I'm gonna get in there and go get shop done. All right, let's find us our lucky cart. This one, right here. All right, we'll start in the Christmas, why not? It's just coming upon us fast. Oh, I just heard something break, that's not good. It's coming upon us faster than uh, we can imagine it's gonna be here. Ooh, Department 56, Elvis Presley's Graceland gift set. Now that, I need to get that down to look at it. Okay, this is kind of what it looks like. It's $12.99, and when I look up comps, I mean, there's, pe there's a lot of pieces in here. What I don't see is the pink Cadillac that's supposed to be with it. And that's the money, I think that's part of the big money part, but these do sell for $150 to $200 when complete. So for $12.99, I'm gonna take a chance on this and uh, hopefully it's still in there somewhere and uh, I can make some money on this. All right, let's see what else we got hiding on the shelves here. Oh, that's the guy that had a music box. I think I looked at that last time. Mm. Mm. Well, that's very vintage and kitschy because <laughs> it's that old plastic and it's flocked and it says made in Hong Kong. Oh my goodness, $2.99. You know, I am going to be doing a Christmas live sale and uh, I know how all of you out there like this real old kitschy stuff. So for that reason, I'm going to pick this up. I'm also really liking these ornaments. I don't think they're handmade because they do have little tags on them. Can't see if it says made in China or something else. I think it might say something other than China, but I could be wrong too. I don't know. Either way, there's one glass like turkey ornament in there too. I just really love these beaded sparkling ornaments and so I'm going to pick this up for $2.99. There's actually four of them because this one fell out of the package. Now maybe I can see a little clearer what that says. Yeah, I still, oh no, I think it says Taiwan. Okay, so they would be vintage. 
Let's see. What else is under here? I have to go buy some lights to put up. I'm gonna put up lights um, outside this year. I'm super excited about that. So I'm on the look. Oh, he's pretty funny. I doubt his batteries are still good. He's a dandy. Let's see. Let's try him. Nope. Oh, I can hear him clicking though. He just needs just needs batteries. And then here's some more. Oh, those are sequin ornaments. Ooh, with purple. There's one broken thing in there. But you know what? I'm gonna grab those too. Okay, I'm seeing some cute little crocheted candles. They're missing their wicks though. I can't have a candle without a wick. I, I know, not. I'm not talking about a real wick. I'm talking about, you know, just a little, little fake wick that would have gone on there. Just needs to have been complete for me to consider it. It's, ooh, there's some heavy bells. Oh, butter cookie mix in there. More, I don't like those ornaments as much. Little bag with ornaments, Let's see what's in there. Yeah. We sold quite a few ornaments down at the vintage market, um, which was cool. Oh, look at this guy, he's one of those little dancing Santas. Yeah, I don't see anything really grabbing me in there. We've got a little cute little wood reindeer. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him. And I think that's probably all I'm gonna find on this side. Oh, I've got some ornaments over on the side. Now this, there's one in here that's grabbing my attention. It's this little guy over here. Very, very vintage. That's like a homemade little sequin vintage. This is 1980. And there's another, ooh, it's got a pixie in it. All right, we're grabbing those ones. Here's another bag that's got like one really pretty sequin ornament in there. And then just like a couple other things. So I don't know if it's worth paying the $3 just to get that one. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna leave this for somebody else as much as I like that one ornament. I just don't see enough value in the rest of it to, uh, to get that one. Yep, that was it. All right, now we're over on the other side and I see some, I see some snowmen with lights in them. I can't tell if those are for outside or not. I like outside ornaments. I mean, outside decorations. Ooh, what are you? 1966 Joan Walsh angels. Are they all Joan Walsh? Walsh, Joan Walsh. Oh, let's see that. Hmm. I don't know if it's almost, I mean, that's made in West Germany on the back. You know what, for $3.99, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. There's one, two, three, four, five, there's seven plates in there. We're gonna try this out. I'm gonna spot these. These are Krebs. Um, I know they came from Walmart, but look how cool those look. I mean, I'm looking at these for me. Made in USA. Hmm, I like those. I want those on my tree if they're not worth reselling. Okay, well, I guess today was the day for me to find some Christmas stuff. Another little bag, nothing as exciting in there. Oh, American greetings. Nope, nope, nope. This is a little thing full of I don't know if that's real candy or fake candy, but we're not gonna find out. All right. And, oh, looky, 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 looky. I found some more, oh my gosh. Look at that, there's one, two, three, four. There's five sequined, and they're all in a basket. They're taped into this basket and it's $3.99. And the basket's pretty nice too, so yeah, I'm picking those up. And here's more baggies of ornaments. So I'm gonna peek and see, there's a Batman. I don't know what, oh, he's a golf? Well, I thought he was holding a golf club. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe he's the fisherman because there's a fishing basket. 
Here's a helicopter. Okay. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Ooh, creepy clown. No, nothing really exciting in that one. Mm -hmm. I do love me some baggies. Do love me some baggies of ornaments. Nope. Nothing super exciting in any of these. I see more over there though. Okay, I see another one of those. But nothing else in there is that great. Let's see what we got. Some little plastic canvas art. Oh, there's another one of those. See, I already know those are good because I researched them the last time I found them. And then there's all these little satin ornaments too. Let's see how much this baggie is. It's $2.99, just like the rest of them. I see one up here. I, I saw the back says the Walt Disney Company. Now this bag is $3.99 and it's like one Dumbo, like a 3D wood ornament. And then there's these little 1981 little clothespin reindeer. And there's a couple other things in there. Wow, oh, decisions. Do I get the Dumbo? Four bucks, four bucks for the baggie. You know what? I think I'm gonna take a chance because I think I'll be okay with that Dumbo one in there. All right, I am skimming, skimming very lightly through the art. Because I have enough art to deal with right now, but just in case there was something super special kind of screaming at me, I had to take a peek. Same with the lamps. Somebody is testing out something really loud over there, so I'm going to let them finish. Wow, their lampshades are like pretty wiped out, except this one looks really interesting. Let me see what you look like. Ooh, that's a very art deco kind of look. It's not that old, but it's it could go on a lamp with that styling. I kind of like it, but you know what? I think I'm gonna pass because I have enough to deal with right now. Yes, I do. Okay, electronics don't excite me at all. Well, I'm looking for those teapots and they do look like they have found a new home already, which I suspect that they would. This is the APG. This is a thumbprint pattern. Unfortunately, it just doesn't have much resale value. I won't say it has no resale value. It just doesn't have enough for me to kind of mess with it. This is a really nice little celadon green. Oops, I guess I should put it into the frame of the uh, thing. But I, I think I'm gonna leave that too. It just doesn't super excite me. I see a lot of things still here from the last time I was here. So we're looking for things that weren't here last time. It's kind of different sunflower. Somebody gave up their sunflower decor, it looks like. Oh, Pyrex. Sometimes I will pick these up um, for Crystal, who makes the jewelry out of them. Thank you. I just brought out three carts of stuff and they're loading it on the, I peeked at the carts and I'll show you what I got off the carts. So I'm trying to get over here and see what he's already put on the shelf. He's really, really chipped, unfortunately. Oh look, I see sunflower stuff. Let's see who makes you. Cause you are kind of pretty. Made exclusively, that's 10 but yeah. Big, heavy, I'd have to sell it local. Uh, just because big, heavy, the shipping's gonna make it kind of out of the range where I could make money if I tried to list it with shipping. Sadly. Let's look see through the vases. It looks a little interesting. Hmm. 
Nah, not as interesting as I thought it was. Not as interesting as I thought it was. Sometimes you can just tell something's just cheaply made in it. Right? There's sometimes no words. Oh, these are super cute. Home, they're made by home. All right, we're in the glasses. Let's see if we can find anything exciting enough to buy today. Oh, Rosie the Riveter's been through the dishwasher a few too many times. Wow, shelves are, I mean, the glass shelves are kind of wiped out. They are wiped out tonight. Are interesting. Oh, they are signed. Oh, what are they signed? Hmm, what do you say? I swear I saw a signature and see it? See it? You can see it there. I see it in the camera, but I can't see it. Huh. Don't know what that says. I'm trying to make it out. They're, they feel, I say they, because there's. There's a set of six, and they feel like good quality. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out what the, oh, they're Rydell, they're Rydell. Okay, I'm gonna look those up. Those are kind of nice. Oh my goodness, those are now living in my cart for, for 99 cents each, uh, because wait till you see what these sell for. And in case you are one of those who doesn't stay to the end of the video, uh, at the end of every video, I will do a recap. I will tell you what I paid, uh, what the item is. If I didn't know what it was when it came off the shelf, I'll know what it is by the time I do my recap at the end. And I research every item and I give you values based on actual sold comps. This one is going to be a surprise. Okay, now I have to look at these ones too, because sometimes people donate all their good glass at once. And these are also signed. <gasps> These, I don't know if you can see it. Do you see it? These are Waterford, and there are, oh, there's at least two of them. I don't think they're all, yeah, these two, this pair is Waterford. I am, I am so sad right now. I'll get it against the black, look at, it is cracked. That makes me want to cry because just one ah, I'm gonna look up and see what just one sells for I looked it up a single would still sell for about $20 but I am gonna go ahead and leave that because I have enough stuff to deal with and it's not it's just not it's a long tail item because you got to find that person that just needs one so Sadly, I'm gonna leave it, which is kind of a bummer. Those, those are stained, not the color of the glass. If those were the color of the glass, I'd probably be buying them. All right, let's look over in the coffee mugs. That looks like a little handmade job right there. Um, let's see, what is this? Oh. This is not in the box anymore. I saw this guy on here. Slow brew tea infuser would have come with, it was a sloth, oh man. Oh wait, is he right here? Oh, he's right here. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Oh, looky, looky, looky. There he is. There he is. Ooh, how much are you? Live slow, die whenever. <laughs> Um, he had his original. Somebody just tore into that box. Why do people do this? Okay, you know what? I This is a good brand. This is uh, a Fred brand. I know for a fact that's a really good brand. I'm thinking this is a $15 to $20 mug. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. Just notice this guy. S'mores mug cake. Does it have a recipe? It sure does. One egg, two tablespoons butter, two and a half tablespoons buttermilk, some vanilla, some sugar, some flour, some baking powder, salt, marshmallows, graham crackers, 
and chocolate chips. Does it give you like the instructions how to make it though? What do you do? Do you just mix all that together? I, I, I don't know. Do you just put all that together? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to leave it. I can't have half that stuff anyway. All the, uh, the, uh, flour and the dairy products are a no-no for me. All right. I don't see. Wait, wait, what's this? I don't know. Uh, I think that's it in this aisle. There's some pretty wiped out shelves. And then a little bobcat sitting up here. Oh, who are you? You're the Hamilton Collection. American Wildlife, oh, he's a bronze. He's a bronze. He's like a cold cast bronze for $3.99. I will take you. Okay, this is uh, quite a retro vintage flashback there. Okay, I'm in the metals. Seeing what we can see. Got a... Some kind of a... Oh, it's a boat. It's a big boat. That's what that is. Alright, I don't see anything exciting in the metals this time. Let's try the wood. The wood section is usually pretty good to me at this store. Let's see what we can find in the wood section. It's pretty wiped out too though. It's not a lot of stuff on the shelf. It's like they can't uh, keep up with the shopping here, which I mean, that's good for them. It's bad for me. <laughs> Look at that monstrosity. Holy moly, that's like some big tiki wood outdoor thing. <laughs> we'll just call it a thing. Ah, uh, maybe. Okay. Oh, what are these? Little, um, carved wood. I think that's, those are Asian. There's, there's a pair here. Let's see. Oh, this one has a dragon on it. Hey, that's kind of neat. I like the one with the dragon. I'm not so sure about the other one. And they are $6, so I think I'm gonna pick up this one. I do like this one. All right, let's see if there's anything else. I did spot this on the cart he was bringing out. It's a beautiful wood box with compartments inside. It's, you know, it's a little rough on the bottom that you would expect for its age, but it's $7.99. I think I'm gonna let it go. Um, because it'll take a little research to try to find like the right keywords and everything on that. So not into that right now. So I'll let somebody else do that. Oh my goodness. What is this guy? He is a, is he a dinosaur? He is a dinosaur. He's a dinosaur cookie jar. They put a napkin on him. He is made by, made in Taiwan. Oh, it's covered up. $8.99. He is that type of um, ceramic that's like really thin and it chips really easy. It's like, it's not real high quality. Like you can just, you can just tell. Then we got something that's international silver. Looks like candle holders. If I can do this one handed. Oh, they're angels. Little angels. There we go. Those are kind of nice, actually. Let's see. They're vintage. I'm going to try to put them back in the box now one handed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get in there. Okay. You are $4.99. <laughs> Had a $5 price tag at one point, but I don't know what year they're from see if it's on here somewhere. Oh, it was originally a set of three that came in the box and I think there's only two. I'm going to investigate this a little more. So there, so there are just two in this box. They do have their original 
stickers on the bottom. They are International Silver Company. I'm sure they're silver plated. Um, five bucks though. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll leave these and if they're still here the next time I come, I'll grab them then. All right, so we're gonna pass that by and see what other goodies might be on the shelf. That's a yum. That is a pretty lighthouse. I'm assuming it's a candle holder maybe since it's over here. It's Sakura David Carter Brown by the sea. Look how pretty that is. You know what, it's only $1.99. I think that is gonna come with me. Well, this is kind of a bummer because that's a really pretty figurine, but um, tail's broken on that one and that one's got a hole on there. But then there's these very interesting bunnies and there's, there's several of them. And, uh, well, they do have a mark on here. They are $19.99 Donna Little Anesco. $3.99. Are they all three? Let's see. Yeah, they're all $3.99. So I'm gonna do a quick look up and see. I'm gonna do a quick look up and see what these are worth. So here's what I found. There's a snowman line that is selling really, really well right now, like $25 to $30 for a figurine. I think bunnies may do that in a couple months when Easter is approaching. So you know what? I am gonna take a chance on all of these. I, I think that's supposed to be an elephant, but I can't quite make him out, so we're gonna leave him behind. Ooh, maybe I'll find more of those ornaments. We got plates, look at it. Such a shame collector plates are just, there's just no value in collector's plates anymore. But yeah, it is what it is. That is a real starfish. Feels like they probably had this in a bag with some others, so I'm gonna be on the lookout. Oh, birdies that say blessed for $3.99. Oh, he's been broken and re-glued on there. Can I still rescue him? You know, it would be for me. I wouldn't resell this one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it because I like it. Okay, and I spotted this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, this is quite interesting. Little mud men. I'm trying to see if he's broken. No, I think all his toes are there. And then there's a, a cra oh no, it's a stork. It's got the stork colors and it's in this piece of pottery. Super heavy though. Again, it's an item I would have to sell locally. So for that reason, I think I'm going to pass, but it was super cool. Somebody just came and snagged the little star. Oh no, they didn't. They put it on a different shelf. This I know is from the um, Metropolitan Museum of Art. Yep. It is a reproduction of, um, that's the Metro Metropolitan Museum of Art logo if you ever see that on something what is this this is the it's a, a replica of an english staffordshire heart dish from 1740 to uh, 1760 and this is 2.99 i think i'm gonna pick that up all right anything else exciting on this shelf i don't really see anything see the starfish landed over here let me see down there I'm going to take a peek at this marine sculpture. It's not like bronze or copper or anything. It's just a resin and he's broken. It's cool though. All right, we have got more Christmas going. Ooh, there's a horse. He is classic or Cristal de Arcs. Next. Next he doesn't have a price. I, you know what? I'm going to leave him. He's, he's just not super exciting to me. But I see something here that I must look at. I see 
I uh, can't tell how old they are. That's what I'm trying to figure out. They are marked. Oh, what do you say on the side? What do you say? I can't. I can't make it out. I don't think. No, they're made in China. They're not that old. Kind of cute, though. Let's see what else is back here. In the baggies. More baggies. No. And then that's a platter under there. Yup, yup, yup. Oh. All right, all right. Let's see. I want to find something exciting. Oh, more baggies. Oh my goodness. They just got the baggy thing going. Let's see if any of these have excitement in them. Apples. Lots of apples. Let's see what this big Hallmark ornament is. The Snowman of Midford. Hmm. Lots of ornaments. And that just reminded me, I have a friend who used to run a Hallmark store who has a bunch of ornaments I need to go pick up. And I will be doing a live sale with those ornaments. So stay tuned for that. Coming soon. Oh, oh, it's not an ornament. Oh, you guys know I have to get that because my little Roddy Zena now has her angel wings. 99 cents. Yes. I also spotted these two little bird ornaments, and I think we're going to do our tree in critters. I, they, these are awful light, though. I got to make sure. Okay, need to make sure they were still in there. Ooh, $5.99 each, but you know what? They're for me, they're not for resale, so I'm gonna get them. I found another totally little kitschy guy, but he is pretty busted. His little cardboard head is flopping off, sadly, 99 cents, but look at that face. Look how cute he is. We're gonna put him back though. Hopefully somebody will get him and love him and keep him. Oh, look at this candle, okay. This does not, this does not have a price. I, I'm kind of digging this. <laughs> okay, no, I'm gonna leave it. Leave, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is some, that is some kitsch right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get it. It's too, too big to deal with, but it's, it's really cool. <laughs> All right, let's take a peek, see over here. Oh, look, 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 look. More of those ornaments, yay. I like that. Since I already got some for my tree. Oh, look at these little guys. They're cute, but they're like, they're new. Got, yeah, nothing exciting. What's this back here? I'm really looking for some more birds. That's, again, some more super vintage, kitschy, kitschy stuff. Okay, but well we can leave that. We can leave that one. It's in this one, though. Yeah, nothing exciting. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nothing grabbing me. All right. You know, you have to shop through every single section to find stuff um, because a lot of times little random stuff ends up, you know. Now this, I, I turned, this had some hot chocolate in it, which I think it's still good actually, because uh, this is a 2021. So because it's a 2021, I'm not going to pick it up because it's like brand new, but it could have been vintage. It could have been something worth picking up. So that's why you got to go through all these little sections and see what other people have plopped that you might find as a treasure. See what I mean? Nowhere near the Christmas section. And these are, that's really loud. These are newer ones. Uh, they're reproductions, but they're still really cool for decorating. And for $2.99, I'm gonna pick up the bubble lights. 
Okay, I found a quieter spot of the store to show you what I had pulled off one of the carts that they brought out. I'm a little torn on whether I'm going to sell these or I'm going to keep these. All these different cactus. Like you've got the, I think this is supposed to look like a saguaro cactus. These are $5 each. It's those two. There's this one little, like a, I guess like a barrel. No, those are barrel cactus. I don't know what kind of cactus that's supposed to be. $3.99. And then these are like little barrel cactus for $2.99. Just super sweet. I love them all. I'm not sure yet if I can part with them. We'll have to see. I picked up this piece of glass uh, because it looks to me like a Steuben. It's just got all the markers of being Steuben, but I cannot find a signature, which is just killing me. Uh, Cause it just, the look, the shape, the quality, it's got some age on it. So for $2.99, I'm going to take a chance and uh, see if maybe I can find that they didn't mark everything because it sure looks like it to me. So we'll see. I almost forgot. I found this guy too that he was taking off the shelf. And it says by the sea and it's got a whale and it's a mirror. Now this was originally from Home Goods for $24.99. But look, compare it 45. You do have to compare it 45 on stuff like this. It's still got its tag here. So it's uh, Annie Schickel Collection, Primitives by Kathy. I know Primitives by Kathy I've done really well with in the past. So for $7.99, we are definitely going to pick that guy up too. They have so many Christmas trees and they have a whole like palette ready to come out too. Like if you're looking for an artificial tree, don't go buy a new one. I mean, a lot of times, even if these, if the lights are bad on these, you just put a string of lights on them because, you know, 40, 30, 40, it kind of, kind of goes like, I guess by size and quality, but you can't buy a tree for that, so pretty cool. Pretty good trip. 
Um, I got a bunch of Christmas stuff. I think that it will do well between my live sales and the vintage market um, the week before Christmas. And yeah, and 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 eBay. And yeah, again, I'm I'm listing on eBay again. And also, you know, if you ever see anything that you just can't live without, feel free to reach out to me via email. I have it down in the description of every video with instructions on the information that I need in order to uh, get something to you. Because remember, as you're seeing this video, I filmed it usually a couple days prior and um, I've already done, I'll forget, I'll forget what stuff was. So I do have some very specific instructions if you want to purchase something right from the video, I'm, but I'm happy to do that. And obviously I can give you the better deal because I'm not having to pay fees somewhere. So I am now, I got the text from the children that there are groceries that are needed in the household. So I need to go to the grocery store now before I can go home and kick my feet up. <laughs> kids. What are you going to do? You got to feed them. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to kick my feet up. And now with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.